Hi guys, this is RN Daily Dose, formerly as Indai RN, and here I am to give you some helpful tips to maximize your study for the exam. And before we're going to start, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, especially if you are new. Free World Questions a nurse on the telemetry unit is preparing client medications in the medication room at the nurse's station. The nurse should perform which actions to be consistent with client safety practices related to medication administration? Select all that apply. 1. Check laboratory values before administering anticoagulants. 2. Compare medication, dosage, and route to prescription orders prior to administration. 3. Discard any unlabeled medications. 4. Open unit dose packages and place medications in a dispensing cup to take to the bedside. 5. Wear gloves to handle and open individual unit dose medication packages. Answers 1. Check laboratory values before administering anticoagulants. 2. Compare medication, dosage, and route to prescription orders prior to administration. 3. Discard any unlabeled medications. Explanation The nurse must follow the six rights of medication administration the right client, the right medication, the right dose, the right time, the right route, the right documentation. Additionally, one of the national patient safety goals ends is to improve the safety of using medications. This includes labeling all medications as soon as prepared, discarding any medications that are found unlabeled, and taking extra care for clients who take anticoagulant drugs. Option 4 individual dose packages should be opened at the client's bedside and should be placed in a medication cup only immediately prior to administration. Option 5 gloves are generally not required during medication preparation or handling of unopened packages or vials. Although hand hygiene should be performed both prior to preparation or handling and again prior to administration. The nurse should wear gloves during medication administration when coming into contact with a route that is potentially contaminated by blood or body fluids egg, administering intramuscular or subcutaneous injections, accessing a closed fork tubing system, placing a pill into a client's mouth using fingers. Educational Objective The nurse should follow the six rights of medication administration when preparing and administering drugs to a client. Additionally, the ends of improving the safety of using medications should be followed, including labeling all medications, discarding medications found unlabeled, and taking extra care for clients taking anticoagulant drugs. A client on fall precautions is found on the floor by the bed when the unlicensed assistive personnel make hourly rounds. Place the actions the registered nurse should take in the appropriate order. All options must be used. 1. Assess for presence of adequate pulse. 2. Complete an incident report. 3. Get help and move the client to the bed. 4. Inspect the client for injuries. 5. Notify the client's healthcare provider HCP. Correct response 1. Assess for presence of adequate pulse. 4. Inspect the client for injuries. 3. Get help and move the client to the bed. 5. Notify the client's healthcare provider HPH. 2. Complete an incident report. Establishing the presence of the client's ABCs or physiological stability is first step as the client could have lost consciousness or had a cardiovascular event that caused the fall. The need for immediate resuscitation should be assessed first option 1. The presence of gross injuries should be established prior to moving the client so that appropriate immobilization can be taken. If awake, clients should be asked what body parts were struck how they fell, if they hit their head, and what currently hurts. The spine should be immobilized and a cervical collar used for any neck pain option 4. Additional help should be obtained to move the client to proper position at the site and avoid injury to the staff. 
After emergent stabilization, the client should be returned to bed for vital signs and further assessment option 3. The HCP should be notified of the incident and assessment findings option 5. Documentation should be made in the client's chart and an incident report filed for risk management option 2. Educational objective. The appropriate order of actions when a client is found on the floor is assessment of stability, assessment of injuries, moving the client, notifications, and documentation. The nurse is preparing to administer medications to the clients. Which client attributes are acceptable for use as client identifiers? Select all that apply, 1, day, month, and year of birth, 2, last name, 3, medical record number, 4. Primary Care Provider PCP 5 Room Number Answers 1. Day, Month, and Year of Birth 3. Medical Record Number Explanation The right client is one of the six rights of administering medications. Two identifiers are used by comparing client statements or information on the identification band with the client's medication administration record. An identifier should be permanent and unique to the client. Acceptable identifiers include first and last name, medical record number, and birth date options 1 and 3. Option 2 An acceptable name identifier must include both first and last names. More than one client can have the same last name. Option 4 The name of the PCP is not an acceptable client identifier. It could change, and it is not unique to the client. Option 5 The room number is not an acceptable client identifier. It could change and may not be unique to the client. Educational Objective A client identifier to ensure the right client should be permanent and unique to the client. Acceptable identifiers are first and last name, medical record number, and birth date. 